We are a month away from peak hurricane season and there is a threat for an East Coast hurricane in the next couple of weeks. Talk about that now and more, forec and more forecast details here as I break it all down for you. I want to show you the map, so let's get right to it and show you what's going on. So here's your time frame and your timestamp. That's the first thing you want to stop and look at here. I'm going to stop this right here. This is August 11th, okay? So August 11th, watch here down off the coast of Africa. This right here, this little cluster, that's going to be your tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. It is very typical here in August, right? This is where storms begin to form. And this is going to be heading west here. So follow along now. I will stop it. Uh, intermittently at places along the timestamp where it is going to be more significant. So there it is. Now, let's go into August 14th, okay? Here is the 14th. You have, here's your line, right, where all those clusters went. And just east of the Lesser Antilles or whatnot, you have this, right? Little cluster starting to develop in the main development region, which is right around here or so for the tropics, okay? So this is going to be your cluster that we're going to keep an eye on. So keep following along now. I put the map into motion here. Let's go out seven days. August 16th, you're starting to see a little bit of red popping up. Talking here about potential hurricane status, right? It's going up now. All eyes are on the East Coast. This is now August 16th. So let me put the map into motion again. Okay, now here we go. August 18th. Let me stop it right here. Now you're starting to see some agreement by the models here, okay? You've got a bunch of clusters here, here, and here, right? Also some going here over towards the Bahamas, right? So you're gonna watch this very closely now. Is there gonna be a storm that's going to form here? Is it gonna occur, and is it gonna recurve and head immediately out to sea? Here's Bermuda right here. Or is something gonna take eyes at the Bahamas or get into the Gulf? Okay, so this is once again the European model. It's been showing this now for several days. I feel confident talking about it. Put the map into motion now. This is now 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters, 12 days out, August 21st here. So you still have your track of the storm. And now you've got this, an East Coast threat. Now, is this going to be a cluster that heads out to sea? Okay, here's a little bit of a cluster right here that would miss probably Nova Scotia. Or you've got all this clustering here towards the southeast. Okay, this puts obviously Carolina in play and then anything farther north than that. But there's also a few ensemble members that do get into the Gulf. So you can't at this point, 12 days out, certainly can't rule anything out. You definitely cannot rule out even the likelihood or possibility that something gets into the Gulf. But right now that is a lower uh, opportunity that that is going to happen. But 12 days out, I certainly wouldn't cancel anything out. Now, put the map into motion. Let's go out about 14 days, okay? Here's a look at the clusters, right? So you've got a lot of these recurving, but some of them are close enough to getting to North Carolina, okay? So you have to watch this very closely. You got to have an East Coast plan in place. Maine, you're in play. Anywhere up and down the East Coast, Nova Scotia, you're in play, right? All the way down to the Gulf here. I'd put all the way down here. Uh, and obviously the Atlantic Basin includes the Gulf. So anyone here from, you know, Brownsville, Texas, Corpus Christi, all the way back to Eastport, Maine up here. You have to watch this very closely and you have to have a hurricane plan in place. And also if you're inland too, this is not just a coastal thing, okay? If the storm does get up here into these red or these kind of these pink or magenta shade, you're talking about a major, right? So you have to watch very closely. Now, back close to the home in Maine, fire weather, uh, not coincidentally at all, is high because it's been so dry in the Western Mountains, Carabasset Valley, back towards the Capital District, over down east in Bangalore, heading up the down east coastline, okay? Moderate here, but it is high for a good chunk of Maine, especially southern and western Maine in the mid-coast because it has been so dry and it's going to continue to stay dry. Look at temperatures now here. This is Sunday, so for tomorrow, check this out. Uh, 80s and 90s widespread with a southwesterly breeze. So tomorrow, you will notice humidity goes up. Today's your last day of uh, relatively low and tolerable humidity. 
Then I want to stop it here now on Monday afternoon. These are temperatures of what it feels like making a run for 100 degrees here. Okay, easily mid 90s. That's southwest breeze. Along the coastline, it will not be as hot because obviously in Penobscot Bay, you have that onshore flow from the ocean temperature, which is in the 60s generally this time of the year in Maine. Now, let me stop it here on Tuesday. This is when the, the heat is going to peak. Okay, so even the southwest interior, especially the southwest interior, even the southern coast gets in on the heat there. Penobscot Bay is the only place really that, and I could see uh, down east and over towards the islands where it's not going to be 90 plus. But everyone else, okay, and up in the county, it is going to be uh, blistering hot, especially on Tuesday, okay? Uh, then on Wednesday, the front comes through and temperatures are still in the 90s. Front really actually doesn't come through until Thursday. Yeah, there it is. On Thursday afternoon, you're starting to see in the western mountains the temperature is coming down, but it's still hot uh, inland and the coastline on Thursday. So it's going to take some time for that drier air from Canada to make its way down from the north. So be prepared for this to, to last uh, quite some time, okay? It's not going to be until really Friday, Saturday, uh, and even still, there's not a lot of release. Then they're back into heat again August 17th here. So yeah, peak summer going on in Maine for sure. It's going to be very hot. Let's look at the forecast now in more detail. I would like to show you the uh, sky cams. It's beautiful. There's a very little bit of wildfire smoke. Uh, not a lot. Uh, it is a sunny and dry weekend, getting hot and humid with an East Coast hurricane trend that I just showed you. I'll be breaking that down almost every day. Not every day, but obviously I'll be giving you pretty frequent updates on the uh, hurricane threat going forward the next, you saw that, 12 to 15 days. So I'll be keeping you posted uh, right here. So here it is in the mountains, 80s to 90s, a run for 90, but really it's not gonna be the mountains that see the brunt of this heat. It will be more towards the foothills, uh, the valleys and inland that sees the, a lot of this heat. For example, look at, this is around Augusta, 95. That's without the humidity, okay? Add the humidity, it's going to feel like around 100, okay, easily. Two points in the 60s, make it run for the 70s, tropical, sticky. Uh, and only a few thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday. I, I do not have a lot of confidence in a lot of rain coming. So the fire danger is going to go up. Uh, the only good news with humidity tomorrow is that humidity will knock the fire danger down, but it's going to feel pretty uncomfortable if you don't like tropical humidity. So there's your give and take. Uh, and then by Friday, Saturday, we'll see if we cool down. Uh, the trend right now is that we probably heat back up again next weekend. So what I'm getting, the point I'm trying to make is enjoy today. If you don't like humidity, you don't like heat today, 75, the coastline, humidity, very tolerable. Okay. Uh, and then tomorrow into the next day and the next day it starts to crank up. I mean, it's August. It's supposed to be hot, right? It's growing season. We got to get all the growing we can get in Maine before uh, the, uh, the imminent approach of uh, fall and winter, right? We'll talk about it, but we know we know what is coming in Maine. So thank you for watching. Jason Nappy Weather. Have a great rest of your day.